let's solve the problem maximum multiplication score uh, which we got in weekly contest 415 so we will follow this approach while solving the problem so first we will understand the question then we will think about various approaches then recursive solution memoization then we will calculate the space and the time complexities so for better understanding please watch the video till the end now first we will understand the question clearly without question it's very difficult to understand right understanding the question is the first step you need to do you are given an integer array of size 4 and another integer array b of size at least 4 he has given two size a which is definitely 4 and b size is 4 greater than like my size is greater than or equals to 4 so at least 4 means you need to choose 4 indexes i0 i1 i2 i3 from array b such, such that all these are in descending order i0 less than i1 less than i2 sorry it's in ascending order your score will be the value equals to a of 0 into b of i0 a of 1 into b of i1 a of 2 b of i3 we need to return the maximum score we can achieve so i think you have got it so here what we can do we can choose any indexes i0 i1 i2 i3 and we should multiply with i0 should multiply with a0 i1 should be multiplied with a1 a2 a3 in this way we need to multiply and we need to get the maximum score you can achieve so first thing right uh, if i am choosing this i can choose any value right i can choose any value if i am choosing this if i am if i am choosing this and if i am choosing this then if i am choosing this element you can go towards only the right side not towards the left side so if if you have three you can choose anything but if coming to the next node you can choose whatever three has chosen only towards the right side only towards the right side in that way i can choose so if you observe if you observe one thing we will get is now this index is zero this index is zero if I am choosing this index, then my this first index can choose all the elements toward the right. So, and if suppose I am skipping this index, and if I am choosing the one index, my second my this element can choose all the elements toward the right of this one index, not the this index. Now let's see the recursive function. Now let's see the recursive function. Consider we have two values. A size is four, and B size is greater than or equals to four. Now you know in the first step what you are taking is now we are taking a of 0 a of 0 into b of i consider i as a any index if you are taking this that means solve you need to go to index plus, uh, this like 0 will go to 1 and 1 will go to 2 2 will go to 3 this is the order we follow because you can see this 0 next element should be 1 then 2 then 3 so this order should be maintained so that's why we are going with 1 if it is 0 then we are incrementing i plus 1 because at 0 index you are taking some index now this is my a and this is my b 0 b as well 1 2 3 4 now in a you have chosen 0 in b you have chosen 2 in b you have chosen 2 now you have gone for gone for 1 1 index now in b right you can choose only 3 and 4 not 0 and 1 not 0 and 1 because you can see here these conditions need to be met i0 is less than i1 so I, I will go towards the right side now in the second scenario what i will do is i will say that i will not consider a i will not consider a that means my i is at index 0 only so i will be at 0 but this will increase right my solve i plus 1 will increase because because like what i am saying i am at this index and b is at it index i am saying that i don't want to consider this I will say that I don't want to consider this B. If I don't want to consider this B, then I should definitely increase my index. So here I am going to increase my index. In this both, I will return the maximum value. In this both, I will return the maximum value. So what will be my base condition? This is first recursive condition you need to build. Now let's see the base condition. If, if my J is equals to 4, if J is equals to 4, J means consider size of A. B means I consider this if j is equals to 4 directly I will return 0 that means I have reached it till the index 4 so uh, I got my answer if if my i is greater than or equals to n that means my index of b is greater than or equals to n I have to return minus 1 11 why my, this minus 1 11 that means minus 10 power 11 minus 10 power 11 so why I will try to explain here 
now if you see e of 5 10 power 5 a of 5 b of 5 can be 10 power 5 and my b dot length is 10 power 5 so if i multiply minus 10 power 5 into 10 power 5 which is minus 10 power 10 minus 10 power 10 maximum how, how many you can have 4 so maximum like my maximum minimum value so my minimum value will be minus 4 into 10 power 10 this is my minimum value so less than that less than that you, you should return you should return less than that you should return for your answer right to get the maximum values suppose you are returning other than this like you are returning minus 1 so what it will take okay it will take minus 1 and it will say this is minus 10 max max is minus 1 this is wrong right this is wrong that's why we need to send as minimum as possible so this is the base condition and this is the recursive function so we have seen the recursive solution not exactly a coding part like how how we need to come up with the recursive one now i recommend you to try by yourself try to code the recursive function and try to write the base conditions so if you do this right then only you can improve the problem solving skills because you will think now you got the approach now you will code and you will think various approaches like okay i can do this i can do this um, otherwise right if you are directly jumping into the coding part you will see you will see my co coding solution all all my code and you will see okay like this i can solve you will not think about yourself think by now uh, i am hoping that you have tried this for at least 10 20 minutes then you are watching the coding part now let's see the coding part it's simple n first calculate the b dot size and i know that my i i which is maximum 4 my j length will be n this is 4 because in the question is already mentioned now if i is equals to 4 as in the base condition we will return 0 or else minus e, minus 10 power 11 so long long x a of i into b of j a of i into b of j if i am doing this then i'm incrementing i plus 1 and j plus 1 right or else if i don't want to use this b if i don't want to use this b i will keep i as it is but i will increment my b index finally if my x is greater than y i will return x or else i will return y and finally you are going to return the answer now if you see this will be exponential time complexity 2 power n exponential complexity taking and not taking so can you optimize it now if you see try to optimize it how you will optimize you can you know the states right i and j you know the states how many states are changing i and j so i will try to use two variables i and j to solve this problem two variables are changing okay two variables are changing this is maximum 5 this is 10 power 5 plus 1 i have taken this and dp of ij but my two variables are changing so i am adding it dp of ij equals to x dp of ij equals to y while returning it and if my answer is already found if my dp is not equals to minus a 10 power 11 you need to add this because you need to store as minimum as possible to get the maximum value right so i am storing this and finally i am going to return my answer now if you see here my time complexity will be order of n because now if you see this phi is constant you can consider it as constant this is 10 power phi so maximum it can go to 10 power phi and we are using extra space which is order of n right so i hope that you have learned something new so if you learned something new please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe and i have created a whatsapp community code with confidence you can join there for further discussions i will see you in the next video till then bye bye